This is James here and I want to do something a little bit different today. So I'm back at home at my parents place taking my four-year-old four-year-old son Oliver to meet his grandparents and I'm back in the music room where I grew up. It's my dad's kind of den shall we say. It's an Aladdin's cave of musical instruments. You can see his double bass over there. He's just taken up the trombone so they're over there and all these kind of decades of music resources here that he's collected. But there's something in particular that I want to show you guys here today because he's a bass player too and we've got these th and I've just discovered these three bass guitars down here and they've really caught my attention. The first one here is this Squire jazz bass. This here is the first ever bass guitar I played and what's got me into the instrument. We took out the frets and it proper sort of Jaco Pastoria style with epoxy resin probably when I was about 15 or 16 years old. It's a still good working solid instrument. The next one here is my dad's 1970s, 73, I think, P bass. That's there. It's a beautiful bass. He used to lend this to me to play on the uh, West End show, We Will Rock You, when I covered on that. So I love that bass. But this is something here. This is a real piece of my bass history. This here is a Yamaha Nathan East bass, which was my first ever professional bass. I haven't played this in nearly 15 years. I gave this to him when I was about 24, 25. So what I'm gonna do today is grab this bass out again, rediscover it, see if it's as good as I remember, and also show you guys a really super cool groove for the five string bass as well. So guys, here we have it. I have plugged in the five string Nathan East bass, which I bought back in 1999, just before I started music college in London. So let's hear what the instrument sounds like. Oh yeah, it still has that really deep, warm sound, which I think comes from these massive soap bar pickups here. I played this bass probably exclusively for six or seven years, I reckon. I played it up until I was about 24, 25 years of age, and then I got into overwater basses, say basses, Sadowskis, etc. But this is still an awesome bass on it. It's got this three band EQ toggle here, which um, is really, really interesting because if you turn it all the way off, three band or three setting rather, and so if you turn it off, it's just really natural like that. You put it on the middle setting and it scoops out the mid. So you get lots of bass and lots of treble. And it's just great for that classic slap sound. And then, it has this middle boost setting, which is great for fingerstyle, which I used to use a lot of the time. Like that. So really, really super versatile instrument. So for the purposes of this lesson, I'm gonna put it back on the middle setting because I think that sound is more in keeping with the groove I'm gonna show you right now. So this is a five string bass, obviously, and I played five string basses pretty much exclusively for about 12 years or so, I reckon. And for me, that fifth string has two purposes. The first one is as an effect note. There's nothing like play, say playing a C on the A string like that, and then just playing a big, low, low C like this. And and then feeling the PA in the room starting to rumble. That's a fantastic feeling. The other one is playing grooves on the bottom, which kind of just rumble along in the bottom end or bubble along. So I'm gonna show you a groove today which has both of those ideas within it. So before we hit the lesson content, I want you to know there's a completely free PDF so we can see everything we're discussing today written out in standard notation and tab. You can download your copy completely free using the link which is in the description below. So let me play you the first two bars of this groove. It sounds like this. So let me take that part a beat at a time. So the first two beats of this are, so it's two Ds on the fifth string at the third fret, and then we go back to the first fret, which is a C, to the D, like that. So and then we hit an F on the second beat of the bar, like that, so, like that. Now the next phrase is, where we, so we go to a G, hammer onto an A, then we go to the C, at the third fret on the A string like that, and then back to the A there, like so. And then we have two eighth notes on the last beat of the bar, beat four, which is a D to a C. So the whole of that first bar sounds like this. 
like that. And then we're gonna play that first four notes again. Then we're gonna rest for a beat. And then we're gonna play simply a C, a C sharp. And then we're back into the next part of the groove like that. So those last two notes, the C and the C sharp like that, are those effect notes that I talked about earlier. And then you can hear that rumbling, kind of bubbling along groove there at the beginning. And then, bah, bah, bah. For me, that is where the five string bass comes into its own. Now, let's look at the next phrase. So the second, third bar of this is identical to the first. Like so. And then the next beat of the fourth bar is again identical. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down to the low B and play a B and the octave up like that. And then B up there and then the C. And that's gonna take us back into the groove again at the beginning. So we're gonna end up with this. Like so. So that is the whole of the four bar phrase. So what I wanna do now is play it with the backing track and so you can hear what this sounds like in context. So this has been so much fun rediscovering this bass and making a quick lesson for you whilst I'm away. I'm actually really, really enjoying playing this. This feels like such a piece of my heritage and I'm so glad we've got this in the family. So I don't think this is a bass I'm ever gonna pass on, but I'm gonna take it home with me if my dad allows me and have some real fun with it because there's just some stuff on here that I haven't played in years, like the five string, obviously, but it's got 24 frets as well. It's got these EQ options. It's even got a bunch of stuff in the back there that you can control on the EQ too. Also, check out that cool jack socket as well. You don't see that very much, oh, very, very much at all these days. So I'm gonna leave you this lesson and have, just have a bit of a jam, have some fun and play along with that backing track and really explore this fifth string again. So I will see you next week and I'll catch you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.